So, as I've just mentioned, here are the endothelial cells. They regulate the vascular function and they respond to changes in blood flow, certain circulating substances and inflammatory mediators. We're going to talk about their response with blood flow in this video. And we're going to talk about three substances which they release. So the first one is prostaglandins and thromboxanes. Well, thromboxanes aren't actually produced by the endothelial cells, but we're more going to focus on prostaglandins and we'll relate it to thromboxanes. So prostaglandins, it's a group of substances. Uh, prostacycline is one of them, and it's produced by the endothelial cells from arachidonic acid. Here is a diagram of prostacycline. Uh, prostacycline promotes vasodilation, so the opening out of uh, the blood vessel or the relaxation of the smooth muscle. Thromboxane A2 is produced by platelets from arachidonic acid as well. Uh, but thromboxane A2, it causes platelets to clump together. So this is usually what happens when there's a damage or a tear to the blood vessel wall. So thromboxane A2 is what causes the platelets to stick together. So a balance between prostacycline and thromboxane 2 is an ideal situation. It favors local vasoconstriction and clot formation when we have some form of injury to the vessel and it helps to keep the clot in place and it stops it from uh, going elsewhere and it helps to maintain normal blood flow. So this is prostacycline here, thromboxane A2. 